Man, I really wish Eternity Code would be out right now so we could attempt to change our metagame, make Aelid Pirates be legal. But we have the top 32 breakdown for the Luxury Championship Series Tournament 2. I'm going to leave a link down below to their Facebook page. That way you guys can check it out, look it on over for yourself, and see if you are interested in playing in one of these cool tournaments. So let's dig on into the breakdown, shall we? All right, haha. <laughs> link down below and like this video. All right, so Luxury Gaming Top 32. We have 18 at Emancipator. That's uh, that's a lot. All right, so we need to we need to talk about this for a second here, okay? So we've literally went so far down the rabbit hole at this point that Synchro Rocks has become the best deck. I think uh, play it, it took Cody Angeloff doing well at the last one, kind of showing people what this deck can do. Amongst people generally play testing with you know the Go 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 engine. Well. So, come to find out that combining Rock Synchro with your Go 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 engine to make Gallant Granite to search for one Rocky Boy is probably the best thing that your deck can do now. Now, players are like, oh my god, like, rocks, why? And you've also got people over here, we've already actually got people wanting Block Dragon Band. That's a, that's a no for me, dog. So, yes. Adamantia showing up and being the most represented deck for this. Now, if you're really wanting to beat this deck, go first, play some TC Boo. There can only be one destroys this deck. There's no real deck in the format right now that uh, can really do good things with TC Boo, which is actually really sad, but that's just my two cents. Also, maybe a Nibiru. I know there were a few people that were trying to cheese DD Crows, but like... Eh, it's not even good. Like, all sign not being once per turn. Fantastic. Thank you for this. I'm glad that we didn't have to actually sit through this format IRL. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, <laughs> Adamantia, best deck. Now, second most represented deck is Eldlich. Now, Eldlich Invoked ended up winning this event. And also in our Eldlich category, we have El so five Eldlich Invoked, one Eldlich Invoked Lightsworn. One Eldritch Lightsworn and one pure Eldritch. All right, so that's eight Eldritch. Twenty-eight of your decks in top cut, by the way. Um, yeah, uh, I, I don't, I don't know, but uh, sorry, we had to take a break there for a second. I had to, I had to go. Man, that's a lot of Eldritch. So basically, you're twenty-six out of your top cut here are some sort of Eldritch variant and Adamantia. Man, Secret Slayers was a good set at this point. Okay, so Eldritch Invoked ended up winning. Uh, I heard talk about this deck um, actually last week. Um, I have a couple of lists from New Zealand we'll cover um, from their next online tournament that they just had. And to top things off, I saw Blair was testing out the Raiden engine and Light Sworn on DB last week. So I was, I was curious about that, but Invoked Eldritch gives you this really cute combination of things. Um, by really cute combination of things, I mean, hmm, using Invocation to be able to set up monsters, not having to rely on Pot of Extrav to basically do things. And you, you could use the Spellbook engine to capitalize on your advantage. That's super easy and free to do in this deck. And you know, you can actually keep your extra deck for resources. So we've basically started to head away from the cool stun engine that we had with Eldritch. And we started heading down this paradigm where you're able to use this deck in a OTK fashion, a better combo oriented thing. Leave it to the TCG to uh, start turning a control deck into a combo deck. It's also, that's interesting. Now, and I mean, that's, you, you take your pick for what you want for Eldritch. You got eight of them in top cut. I mean, variance is very much a thing for this event, but 
literally, it all comes down to your tech choices. Do you want to play Light Sword? Do you want to play Invoked? Or do you want to play a pure Eldritch? Because all of them all pretty much get you to the same place, which is total zombie domination. Now, we also have one DDD deck in Top Cut. And this actually, I, I'm very much, I want to see this list when it actually makes its way out. It'll probably be out by the time this video goes up, but as a filming list, I haven't seen this yet. So DDD combo, we've, uh, we know people have been messing around with this. All right, like, it shouldn't be a surprise. If we had regionals going right now, we'd probably be seeing that uh, there'd be a couple of random top 16s running around right now for DDD combo. And uh, it's extremely awesome to see this. So I will clap for you, my good friend, because I am extremely happy to see that DDD is still kicking in today's format. Oh, I'm so happy. Like when this deck lost its last leg of the race, and we didn't get the chance to play it because it just got released too late for us. It's very nice and refreshing. So, that's interesting. I'm very curious to know what the deck does. If you ask me why DDD is good, it makes really big boards. It's, it's literally the king of two to three card combos. Like, if you've looked up some of the guides with the things that you can do, there are just insanity plays that you can do. So... Honestly, for a deck with a very high ceiling, I honestly think that this potato deck might be the deck for you. Like, if you just want to mess around with cool combos all day long, play DDD, all right? Now, we have one Invoked Shadal making it in the top cut. I mean, Invoked and Shadal, period, right now, is not a bad place. I honestly thought that this deck would be probably one of the best decks as we were heading on into this format. And it really looks like it's definitely taken a back seat to the power that has just been released in this format. We, I don't even know what to say about this. Like, the, the biggest three from last format just got annihilated out of the place. Now, we've also got Rocket, which would be Dragon Link for us. Now, no surprise here. Uh, I do think that... Invoke, or excuse me, I do think that Rocket Link is still very much going to continue to be a very good deck. The deck's just got consistency. Now, once Red MD gets hit on its errata, we'll probably see the end of this deck, which will be a really sad thing, but when it happens, it happens. We also had one Salaman Great. Now, this is interesting. So I just uploaded that video yesterday. People in the comments were like, oh, he bricked. Like, there's nothing, he, he messed up the combo. You hard lose to Nibiru. Like, if you've been playing this format or you haven't played against Eldritch yet, yes, of course, you're going to say that uh, Salaman Great's still a good deck. If you watch Salad get decimated through some of these boards right now, Salad does not have a good Eldritch matchup. And, you know, I, I can't prove that to you. All right? I, I just say it. You disagree. I don't care. All right? It's, I've seen it happen too much right now to say that Eldritch is just tearing through the competition. Now that we got numbers to do this, to those of you in my comment section have been informing me that Eldritch is a bad deck, hmm. Numbers and things look like we might not be wrong here. Now this was 240 players. This is probably the biggest event that we've got next to CMOs running right now. But I will say, for the most part here, that uh, consistency is looking pretty good here. So, uh, yeah, Salad definitely in an interesting place, this format. It's almost like maybe the deck can do something in the future. Uh, maybe once rocks get checked. We also had one sub terror deck. Uh, I'm not exactly sure about this one. Uh, very interesting. Stun. A minute into Top Cut over Altergeist. I think that's pretty impressive. Geist have been projected to be one of the best decks this format by a few players. Same thing with Pendulum. No pendulum or that in here. And running it on home, Zodiac. Oh, I'm so happy. One Zodiac creeped on through the cracks here and made it in to top cut. Thank you. Somebody out there is playing this bad boy. Somebody loves this deck. And somebody had enough love and dedication to bring Dryden Mommy home. Also, you know, being able to make the big Link 3 that's 4K, um, card's pretty good! So, a lot of decks have a problem 
dealing with a fat 4K wall that literally just waves at you and goes, hi, what can you do? You can't out this. Plus, you know, with Zoo plays for the follow-up on the next turn, plus macro, it's almost like it's a good deck or something. It's a, it's a thing. So, Invoked Eldritch won this tournament, piloted by Cameron Neal, um, tearing through all 18 of the Adamantia, which is very interesting. I will say that. So, that's your general tournament results for this. Yeah, very interesting. I'm very curious to see where we're going to continue to go in this format as we head on into Echo here. The Plunder Patrol are coming. I actually, uh, I'm very excited to see where that deck goes. I actually got trashed by that deck yesterday on stream. And I mean, I got trashed. Like, I was actually yikers. But, uh, what do you guys think? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And well, guys, I'm out. The ride never truly ends. Thank you, patrons, for helping support the channel. Without you guys, I don't know if I'd still be doing this. And, for those of you that like Cardfight Vanguard, Vancol40 is here for all your content needs. And, those of you asking if I sell cards, mcoolgames.com for all your trading card game needs. Check the description for more interesting info. Thanks for watching, guys.